and welcome back. I actually can't believe it's March already, so I have no clue where the last month went, you know, and I, and I get that I pretty much always say that, but yeah, wow, February was an absolutely insane month for us. So you probably noticed that I've not been posting for a while and that's just because we had a bit of a slight disaster in that um, a large chunk of our ceiling fell in. So it's all been sorted now, but it has just taken a lot of clearing up. Plaster dust gets everywhere, like literally everywhere. And it is just a nightmare to get rid of. So um, yeah, I, I'll post a picture up, but it was, there was crazy mess everywhere. I think one of the things that was really interesting for us is that we live in a 1950s, not 1950s, an 1850s coach house. Um, so there's some um, garages that once upon a time we think was a hayloft to a large villa that we're attached to. Um, and the bit that fell through was part of the old original plaster. So that was really interesting. And it was like literally full of horse hair. And the beam that was there that had just completely disintegrated, I think was probably original. So very much like when you literally picked it up, it, it was just air. It literally disintegrated in your hands and it, it you sort of squeeze it and it just like sort of exploded into dust basically. So guessing that was probably original. Um, the mess was phenomenal, but anyway, we're now on the other side of that. All the plastering has been redone and a sort of load of redecorating, but thankfully it wasn't too major, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why I've not been around. So I've had a really good few sewing weeks and I think sort of finding time to do the sewing with everything else has been a bit stressful. Work has been crazy, but then work is always crazy. Um, but I think being able to sew, being able to clear a space and just to finish up getting some stuff done feels really good and it feels really positive. And I've actually challenged myself and done quite a few different stuff. So just in case you can hear that in the background, there are some building work going on um, just in the villa across from us. So it, it might sound a bit noisy, so apologies for that, but I just thought I'd get this done today just because I haven't made one for forever. Okay, so what have I been sewing? Um, I think one of the first things that I've made that I'm really, really pleased with is the Heather Blazer. So I'll take a picture of the Heather Blazer. Um, Amelia isn't wearing anything at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll take a picture and get that posted up above just there. Um, again, I'm very late to the game with these patterns. The Heather Blazer is a phenomenal make and comes together really, really beautifully. So I've made mine in a pale blue linen with a white stripe um, that I got from um, Guthrie and Garney, I think, but I'll double check. Uh, and it, it just sews incredibly beautifully. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a suit to go with it. So I actually managed to do another pair of the um, McCall's pattern, so the 7726, which is an absolute go-to favorite. So I have a pale blue linen suit, which is just gorgeous. Um, the trousers look really really amazing with the jacket almost pairs like a very 80s pair and what i tend to do is i've rolled the sleeves of the um sleeves yeah i've rolled the sleeves back so i've lined it with some gray um just lining fabric and i've piped around the edge so that looked really pretty um and so the sleeve rolls back with the silver lining and i think the trousers I've added an extra few inches to the bottom so actually the plan is to wear them rolled up a little bit with an open toed sort of heel boot a grey boot and yeah it feels really cool it feels really really lovely uh, for the next thing that I've made is a Cali shirt so it's a viscose linen print so viscose twill actually from um, again from Guthrie and Garney and I think I made this skirt a couple of times that w went with it and so it, it was on its second make and I think anyone who's seen the videos before will see. The thing you need to remember is that viscose twill drops really significantly but I am really really pleased with this outfit. So that is a Cali shirt um, with some um, contrast banding. I didn't put the full collar on, I just literally put the granddad collar on but again I'll take some pictures on Amelia and show you those and I've made a half circle skirt to go with it and that's just because I wanted something a bit more smart to wear um, I don't really have many dresses not very good at wearing dresses um, so yeah really really pleased with that one um, fits amazingly and I'm really glad I redid it because actually the first time around it didn't really fit right it was quite big um, I think again something to do with the viscose twill that sort of stretched out 
Um, but yeah, very, very pleased that I remade that one. The next thing I did is I made a really lovely bronze velvet Black Beauty bra. So the Black Beauty bra, for those of you who don't know, is from Emerald Erin. Um, that is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. So I made a bronze bra, so with black vel uh, bronze velvet, beautiful, beautiful velvet, with a black lace. And I made a pair of knickers that I hated. And actually I've come to the conclusion that I'm not making stuff that I don't like wearing anymore. What is the point in spending time and fabric on a pattern that I don't really like or feel comfortable in? And I loathe knickers that spend their life up your bum. So, for me, no more. Um, so I remade the um, bronze knickers just, just literally so as I've got something to wear with this bra. And I have to say, I'm really, really glad I did because I get so much more wear out of them. Um, I'll pop, and again, yeah, those of you who watch will know that I'm gonna stick another couple of pictures in, but give the bronze, not the bronze velvet, the bronze velvet is also very good, but give the Emerald Erin um, bra pattern a chance. If you've never made an underwired bra, it is, the, well, the instructions are just so good and you just can change it in so many ways and it, it is literally one of my staple patterns and yeah, very, very, very pleased with this one. Um, feels very luxurious. It will probably go in my um, suitcase shortly when I swap out from winter to spring, but it'll be there next year for when I, when I want to wear it. So really, the only other thing that I have got on the sewing table at the moment is the Adrian bra, which is a Friday pattern company pattern. Not made one before, again, um, slightly late to the game, get that, it's been around for a very long time. It's not very often that I see patterns that I really, really want to make, and I wanted to make something to go with a suit, so um, I bought some meat milk fabric from Minerva Crafts, which, no, did I buy it from Minerva? No, I think I got that from the Marzi Fabrics, actually. Um, the meat milk fabric is quite pricey, I think, but it's, um, I bought a really beautiful white um, rib. So it's a rib jersey, looks really, really classy, and it's very bright white. So I've bought some of that, um, and the aim is to make an Adrienne, so white ribbed body, and then I'm just gonna use a viscose jersey for the sleeves, um, and that's just wanted something simple to wear under the new blazer and jacket. Um, I will try and pop a picture of that in, but it is very much in its infancy. And I think one of the things that I'm toying with next is I'm thinking of making a shirt dress. Now, I have a shirt dress that doesn't really fit and I am thinking of taking it apart and making a pattern. Might be crazy, but I've never done it before. <coughs> and actually, I am trying to teach myself about some new techniques and some new styles and I think I'm gonna try and use this dress and make pattern from it so um, I will keep you posted with how that goes um, it might just be simpler to buy a pattern I have seen the most incredible um, French poetry pattern called the Stella dress and yeah I'm a deep bit in love with it so I might if I, if I don't get anywhere with this sort of pattern drafting I may just make that one and just see what happens I've got a bit of a thing at the moment with cornflower blue so it might be quite nice in a viscose um, no, we'll have to wait and see. So the only other thing that I want to tell you about is um, a self-drafted bralette that I'm thinking of having and getting into patterns and out onto Etsy. So it's taken a long while to develop and fit and um, sort. I think it's come out really, really well and this fabric is just amazing. So this was a Lamazi fabric, but that, you know, I've now seen it in Minerva, I've seen it in Guthrie and Garni, so it is everywhere. Um, really super soft viscose jersey and I've made two pairs of knickers to go with it. So the plan is, um, I'll stick some pictures up here of it in its development and the plan is, still haven't got a name yet, which probably I need to do, um, is to really think about getting this pattern out there and just see how that goes really because I just I need to get these patterns out in the world and I think some of the things I've procrastinated about it for so long that probably I just need to get it done and yeah hope for the best really so let's see what happens um, again like I say I'll stick a couple of pictures up about how that looks and I've also got some lemon lace that I'm thinking of doing something really pretty with but I can't quite work out what to do so that may be another sew along um, I haven't decided yet. Let's see. 
Okay, so I'm gonna sign off. Um, I literally only jumped on for a few minutes just to give you an update. So I will get all these pictures taken and post it up and hopefully that can be out later today. See you soon guys. Take care.